see the can just start to dissolve. I don't want any flakes going in there. Okay. Got gloves here. Looks like the can held together. Now we'll pour. way so we can see it in the inside when you pull it up. There you go. It's <laughs> like some kind of creature in there. It's a creature, all right. It's, now the hard part about this thing is sharp. It can cut me bad in that coffee can. So just try and get the model out and the casting out. Right. This is the casting for the sheath. Oh, it's great. Great. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now this is a real art casting. You can see the um, the stump. The idea on this one was a bog and a bog oak. And this is the this is the bog. Oh, look how that came out. Look at that beautiful texture. It's exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I had planned. Exactly what it was in wax. And there's the hand carved trunk. And these are just these are just vents. So this was poured this way. The bronze went in, filled the stump area, filled the bog area through these three um, uh, sprues. And then the vents vented up. This one was closed off by the button pouring over, but this one completely vented up. And these two vented up until it was filled and stopped running. It is a complete casting and it's just beautiful. markedly warmer than the other models so the other casting so we definitely have got a bigger piece going on here mm, she's still embedded in there pretty good well we didn't hear it pop out like the other one shake it in there break it in there. really tight 
tight too. It was really close to the size of the diameter of the can. So not a lot of room for play there. Might have to cut the can off of it. Let's see what we've got here. Oh yeah. Just need to break up some of the yep. I think I can smash the can and get it out that way. How does it look though? It is beautiful. It is exactly complete. It's exactly how I fashioned the wax. Exactly. In this case I used a multi, I used a main sprue uh, gate former right here and then used multi sprues into the flat area and had vents to the outside and then this was filled at the bottom but there was an air hole so that so that the air could escape the when the investment was poured in and then um, that the bottoms are the vents that allowed the air to be displaced as the as the uh, model was filled up and it looks exactly like the wax which means it's a good casting and it's big it's a big casting physically large <laughs> 